Hey everyone. So I'm doing a 8 by 20 canvas and I'm going to attempt to swipe, which I don't ever do. <laughs> I pre-painted my sides black because I wanted to make sure I had enough coverage and not have to worry about getting my edges. Um, I have some great metallic paints here I want to try. This is a Deco Art uh, Dark Patina, which is really pretty. That was the first time I've ever seen that. And this is Craft Smart White Pearl. I have the Deco Art Peacock Pearl, the Folk Art Teal Topaz, the Folk Art Color Shift Green Flash, Folk Art Color Shift Blue Flash, and Folk Art Color Shift Aqua Flash. So I had done a video before this. It's on Facebook if you want to go watch it. Um, I had put black lines in between the color and I used silver and it just came out way too dark. And I tried swiping it twice. Not happy with it. And I'm looking at it and I'm going to scrape it. So <laughs> I'm just not going to scrape that and use that canvas over. So all right, so I'm going to lay color down, lines of color, and then we will go ahead and pull it. So I'm going to start with the peacock pearl at the top. And I don't need a lot because I noticed on that one I had a ton of paint. And I'm not putting black in between this time. I learned my lesson. So for all you swipers out there, kudos to you because I'm not a swiper. At all. <laughs> At all. Okay, so I'm going to shove this patina in here. Mm, I'll do the white first. And I don't want a lot of white. going here. Yes, it's disheartening when you have a plan and it doesn't come out the way you want it. That's okay. Try, try again. So I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers. I got quite a few this past week. Thank you for joining me. Hope we can learn something. Or just enjoy watching. We don't bite. <laughs> um, all the products that I use are in the Amazon link below. If you click on there, I'm an uh, Amazon influencer. So I'm, I'm an affiliate for Amazon, so you can go right there and order stuff when I show it to you, like these cups that I'm using are on there, the craft sticks are on there. Um, I don't have any canvas listed because I got most of my canvas at a local store. But um, my airbrush is on there and my torch. So have fun. Go check it out. You might find something you've been looking for. And I've, I'm not, I'm not one to spend a ton of money. So the stuff that I have on there is pretty much at the lowest price you'll find it on Amazon. So yeah, check it out. And I'm not going to fill these spots in this time either because that I think was a problem. But I am going to tip side to side to get the color to go over. Okay, that's pretty, pretty the way it is, isn't it? I'm not putting any. <laughs> Somebody needs to tie my hands behind my back sometimes. All right, so I'm going to load up my top here with the black. Nice, generous amount. And I used the old book cover report covers. 
the acetate page. Uh, this one's better. Or you could use a damp paper towel or a squeegee or even your palette knife. Mine wasn't big enough and I'm not, I don't have as much control with that. So we're just going to lay this on and pull it down. Wish me luck. <laughs> Cross your fingers, please. This one's much better than the last one. Okay, so now these little spots here I'm not worried about. I can get them with my palette knife. And I don't want to move it too much. So it did pull the white down, which is good. See, it was better without putting that line of black and that silver was horrible. So that, my friends, is my swipe. I'm gonna play with it just a little bit. This one's broken, so I'm going to cut off a piece. My stomach's growling. <laughs> I'm doing intermittent fasting, and last night I had so many calories left, and my son's like, well, eat something. I'm like, no, I'm not hungry. <laughs> Gently. This is the one that's going to be a pain in the butt to watch. It's going to change everything. Yep. So when that happens, I have to swipe again. Okay. I should have left it alone. Oh, well. All right, let me load it a little more black in there. And hope I don't pull all this color off. I want to hold this farther over. the spot but that's okay I did that again on that end I don't care I'm leaving it I'm not gonna mess with it I'm making this for a background and my intention is to paint birch trees white birch trees on here so I think I could probably hide that with a with a birch trunk. And that's not going to matter. But the other one I did was just way too dark. Way too dark. And this at least has some color. So I don't have to worry about that. And I got tons of cells. Hopefully some of them will grow. So I think that will be a great back background for that idea I have. We had a white birch in front of our house when I was growing up and it got a disease and we had to cut it down so I wanted to paint this for my mom. So they bring that up and it kind of willows out a little bit, so I think that would be good. Let me turn it around and give you a show. Let me give you a close-up first. Tons of little cells. 
Metallics don't play nice with silicone. But yeah, see if I put the tree there, bring it up to here, and some here. I think that'll work out great. So that, my friends, is my swipe background for an upcoming painting. I want to get it finished. I will show it to you. I'm hoping I can get it done for Mother's Day, so that's why I wanted to pour it today. And I don't think I'm going to touch this up here. <laughs> There's a little spot here, but I think when I paint the tree on, I'll be okay. So thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button and click on the bell next to it for notifications. Um, click like and share. And join me on Facebook at Christina Welch Art. And if you want, you can leave a comment. And check out my links below in the description box. And you can go shopping and you can see what's available. And uh, I've kind of done all the work for you on Amazon. <laughs> but... Um, Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.